Okay, here we go again. I am finishing up canning the pumpkin in a previous video you can link to. Now what I'm doing is processing the pumpkin seeds. We like roasted pumpkin seeds. So I use Redmond's Real Salt. I get that right straight from Redmond's. You can also get it through Azure Standard. I get a 10 pound bucket of it. I use salt quite a bit. I love this. It has um, all the minerals we need. It's very good for you, has an amazing taste. So I've got um, four cups of water back here. It calls for two teaspoons per cup or a teaspoon per cup. However, I am only gonna put three teaspoons of salt in. I don't want any more than that. I've got a bunch of pumpkin seeds left over from the pumpkin. I'm bringing this up to a boil. Once I get that up to a boil, then I will be able to add my pumpkin seeds. Some people wonder what to do with them. Well, we don't like wasting them and they are a great healthy snack for us. I'm making it myself. I know what I'm putting in them. There's no preservatives in them. It's just real salt and seasoning that I, that I use. So I'm just waiting on that water to boil. Might take a few minutes here. seeds. So the water is boiling and I'm going to dump my seeds in here and we're going to let them simmer for five minutes. stir here with that salt water. Turn that down just a little bit. And then again, simmer five minutes. We're going to set a timer. And I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so the next step, we have to drain our pumpkin seeds. They have simmered for the past five minutes, so I'm going to drain these quickly. And the oven is already preheating at 350 degrees. You take clean, a clean dish cloth here, dish towel, and I'm going to lay these out on here. And dry them off and move, remove any of the other pumpkin bits that might still be left on them. We just need to dry them off. Here. I'm getting nice and padded dry. And they're quite slippery. Just be aware of that. After you get them all nice and dry, you're going to get the get the seeds onto a parchment paper. Lined pan.
going to mound them up. Here. Remove any big chunks of pumpkin. I tried to get as much off as I can. They look pretty clean. And then I'm going to pour over them two teaspoons of olive oil. And the seasonings. And you can choose, you can choose any seasonings that you like. It's all the way so you can see better. And I'm just going to do it with my hand here. I'm going to get them coated really well with the olive oil. And then you need two teaspoons of your favorite seasoning. We enjoy, it's called, far, it's called farm dust. We get it up at Shipshawana, Indiana, at um, uh, the, several stores up there sell it. So we are going to use that. The one is spicy. And so I'm just going to sprinkle that on them. I'm not really going to measure either one of these, but you just want two teaspoons total. And this one is non-spicy. And I'm just going to mix these up really well. With this. And the last seasoning I'm going to actually put on is chili powder. And I'm just going to lightly dust these with that, again, using my hands. You can add salt. This farm dust is, has Himalayan salt in it. I do enjoy that. This and the spicy farm dust gives it just enough heat for us. So it's just a nice, tasty treat. I spread these out on the parchment paper. And in the oven they will go for 10 to 25 minutes. And that's at a preheated oven. 350 degrees. So there you go. You can see them in my oven and we're going to leave them there until they're done. I will bring you back. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to open these up. It says to stir them and I want to stir them around here. And you're looking for brown edges. This has got quite a bit of time yet to go. I'm just, again, just Kind of tossing them a little bit and just seeing how things are going. And I'm going to spread them back out after, after that. Okay. A little while to go. Okay. I believe our... Pumpkin seeds are done. Take a look and see. Oh yes, a nice golden brown. They look wonderful. Look at that. And now we just have to wait for them to cool. And then I'll be able to put them in a bag. I'm gonna throw them in a freezer though. A freezer bag. So they'll store, but they stay great a couple weeks in the refrigerator. And we're done. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And also thanks again for all the subscribers. I appreciate it.
Be blessed.